Okay, I decided that I wanted to show you guys how to make the very famous color changing tea, also known as butterfly flower pea tea. So we're gonna be doing it three ways. The OG way, which is just the regular tea with lemon and that's about it. We'll be making it into a lemonade. And then the third version is kind of like a latte cream based tea. I hope that one of these teas sparks your fancy, but basically all of these teas are sparking my fancy. So let's get to it. Welcome to Who's Got the Tea, where we discuss all things tea. My name is Shayna Hu, and I am a tea enthusiast exploring teas and taking you with me. Today, we are talking about butterfly pea flower tea, but as per usual, before I get to making the tea, I like to talk about the tea. So let's talk. What do you need to know about this tea? First, it is caffeine free, it's an herbal tea. The technical name for it, and I'm gonna say this very slowly, is Clitoria turna tea, also known as Asian pigeon wing. I hope I said that right. So, flavor-wise, based on my research, they say that the tea basically has a very mild flavor. It's similar to a green tea, but the lemon, when you add lemon, which we will be adding, the lemon can make it very tart. So when we make our tea today, I'm gonna try to add a moderate to low amount of lemon, just because I don't want an overpowering tart taste. Anyway, benefits. There are many benefits to this tea. For instance, it improves your memory. It is full of anti-inflammatories. It's full of antioxidants. It's also used as a calmative agent, so it's very uh, anti-stress, anti-anxiety. It's really good for your hair. It's really good for your eyes. Honestly guys, there are so many benefits to this tea, we should all be drinking it. But, apart from that, like I said, it's hella aesthetic. So, let's get to making our teas. So before we start making our tea, I wanted to show you guys the package that it came in. It says butterfly tea, origin, Thailand, and you can see the flowers inside. We can take a closer look here. You can see the petals, and you can see the base of the flower. They are blue, purple, with a yellow center and green stems. They're very pretty, and that's obviously why they make our tea so vibrantly blue. So, let's get them in the pot. To begin, I put my teapot on the stove to boil. And then I added about three to five flowers per cup of water in the teapot. So that's why you can see me counting them meticulously. I place them in my ultra filter and then I place the filter in my teapot and let that simmer. So it's going to steep for about uh, nine to 10 minutes optimally you can actually see as the time progresses that the water is turning blue and the more that i mix the flowers as you see here it takes on that blue tone here we see a close-up of the flowers in the pot once we've finished boiling our flowers it's time to take out our filter system and get ready to make our tea from this view, you can see just how clear and boldly blue the butterfly tea is. Next, I gave my lemon a really good roll in to get those juices flow in. And then I cut it into slices and didn't forget to take those seeds out so that I wouldn't have any seeds in my tea. As I began to squeeze the lemon juice into the tea, the pH changed. As a result, the color changed from a blue tea to what you see now, a purple tea. 
All right, guys, we saw that ever so quickly changing color from blue. I added the lemon and it proceeded to change into this beautiful purple. It's so magnificent, isn't it? There's still a little bit of blue in there too, so it has a color gradient, which I think is so cool. When I first made the tea, it did have a very earthy smell. It didn't smell florally at all. So that is probably an indication of the flavor to come. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of honey just because I anticipate this lemon being quite strong in here. So I'm just going to add some more. Okay. I don't want to cover the flavor, mask the flavor of the tea entirely. So this tea is still warm. Let's try it. I just smell honey and lemon. So there's actually no taste to this at all. I just taste honey and I just taste a small hint of lemon. The lemon isn't overpowering at all. It's not overly tart, but I don't really taste the base of this tea, even though as you can see from the color, it's very predominantly present. It's extremely mild. I don't know how people wouldn't be able to drink this tea. It's not offensive at all. It's fine, I like it. But let's get more into the fun flavors. Next is our lemonade. So the lemonade was arguably the hardest recipe to make. I started by trying to make the lemon water at the bottom of the cup. I added lemon and then water and then the tea on top, hoping that I could make a gradient. But as you can see, what happened is everything just became purple. So then I tried starting with the original flower pea tea at the bottom of the glass and adding the purple tea, which had the lemon in it, towards the top. And I tried to use a spoon and push it against the side of the wall of the glass so that it could kind of fall down the glass without disturbing the blue layer. Unfortunately, as you can see, this did not work so well either. Well, third time was a charm because this recipe actually worked. I added sugar and water to a pan and I started to boil them basically to make a syrup. After stirring it sufficiently, I added the tea leaves so that we could get that wonderful blue color that we all want. After about 10 minutes, I took my syrup off the heat and filtered out the flowers. Now that we have our blue syrup, we can place it in the bottom of our cup, which will be the blue base for our lemonade. After adding ice to the top of the glass, we can add our lemon water, which would be just lemon and water. I added lemonade because I like all my drinks a little bit sweeter. Okay, so we finally made our lemonade tea. It was kind of difficult, but the bottom portion had to have the sugar to saturate it, to keep it at the bottom and keep it separated from the lemonade so that when the color is mixed, it makes it gradually instead of turning the entire thing purple. So that was how we had to get the gradient. We had to make the bottom portion dense with sugar and then the top portion have the lemon so that the, only the middle is the portion that changed color and became purple. So that's how we have now a beautiful gradient as you can see here. So let's find out how it tastes. So the bottom tastes like straight sugar, <laughs> but the top tastes like lemonade. And the idea is that you'll mix the bottom, which is just sugar and the flour, and then the top part, which is just the lemon and water, and it'll mix into a equivalent 
purple lemonade. Last but not least is our blue tea latte. I started by making the cream first, which consisted of the condensed milk and half and half. I used, obviously, the condensed milk liberally because I like all my drinks sweet. But you can for sure add less or more according to your taste preferences. I stirred them both together until I got a fairly pourable consistency. After filling up a cup with ice and pouring our tea right over it to cool it off, all we had to do was pour over our condensed milk and half and half mixture to create this beauty. Okay, so here we have it. Our tea mixed in with the milk, which is basically gonna be the condensed milk and a little bit of half and half. It makes a really pretty ocean-like aesthetic going in and then it kind of mellows out and you get this gradient from just the heavier cream going up towards the tea. But we don't know how it tastes, so let's taste it. I think I need one more taste. So like I said before, the butterfly pea flower doesn't have much of its own taste. So what you're gonna taste is you're gonna get the condensed milk, you're gonna get the half and half. So you just get the flavors of condensed milk and half and half. It's really pretty, but taste-wise, it's not a mind blower. <laughs> Okay, I have to say that this has been one of the most fun episodes that I've made. Thank you so much for joining me. I've learned a lot. I hope you guys have learned something. If anything, just take note of the things that I did wrong so that you do them right and you'll have a great tea, a great lemonade, or a great latte. But until next time, see you soon.